37th annual Tucson Open won the first time, 1962, by the great Don Carter. There, take a look at some of the stats on Jess Stayrook, fourth seed. High game this week, 279, average of 228. And he'll be up first in our shootout round. And coming in a little high for Jess Dayrick. You know the first shot is always tough to throw. A lot of nerves, a lot of anticipation for Jess Dayrick. Our TV pair, TV lanes today, lanes 15 and 16. Jess Dayrick beginning on lane 15. His second shot looking to convert the spare. Makes a nice conversion of the 4-7. Now we get our first look at Norm Duke, the very versatile Norm Duke. And Marshall, the fact that he is versatile, what exactly do you mean by that? When a bowler is versatile, what do you mean? Well, he has the ability to play the lanes in every conceivable way. He can throw the ball very straight from the outside trajectory, or he can move way in and really turn the ball hard, making the ball hook and dive into the pins. Today, he's opted for the outside line, throwing the ball in a much straighter trajectory. And gets a friendly roll, knocking down that 10 pin. We'll take a look as the ball hits the hits the pocket. And we'll take a look. Here comes that messenger right into the 10 pin. Good start for Norm Duke. And a look at that replay on the CBS Macan. Up next, Ricky Ward's second seed had a 300 game this week during the Tucson Open. <laughs> Great start for Ricky, flush in the pocket. The pressure right now, well, it's on this man, Jess Stayrook. And talking about flush in the pocket, that's when the ball is very, very high, high into the pocket, but not so high that you'd leave, leave a four pin or a six pin. The perfect shot. Jess Stayrook on lane 16. And Jess answers back, throwing the ball Pretty much the same way that Ricky Ward fall was in the last frame. Nothing standing for him. You're going to hear these people yell, Duke, 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 as long as Norm Duke is out there. He's a very popular player and certainly, as I said earlier, very talented. Norm told me his grandparents watch every Saturday. And they're watching with considerable interest today. I've got to stop. Just a little bit high in the pocket. And boy, he just likes it kick himself right now for not taking advantage. Well, we had flush in the pocket, high in the pocket. Yeah, high in the pocket is just about an inch too far to the left for the right-handers of that flush hit. Ball needed to stop hooking just a little bit more, maybe a little bit left off his hand. Pull the ball just a little bit. Very good spare shooter, throws the ball very straight, and no trouble picking up the four pin. So Norm Duke converts in frame number two, and Ricky Ward will try his luck in the second. Ricky Ward from North Fort Myers, Florida. Opportunity to take a 10-pin lead over both Jeff Gaylick and Norm Duke on lane 16. Power strike for Ricky Ward. And Marshall Ricky told me his key here, just trying to stay relaxed and patient. Well, he always seems to be relaxed as far as what I can perceive and seeing watching him bowl. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't show any nerves. Now, you know they've got to be churning inside of him, but uh, you wouldn't know it by watching him. Jeff Stabrook, on the other hand, he shows his emotions. He lets you know how he feels when he releases his ball. And not good. Leaving the 6-7. We'll take a look as we see the Mac cam coming in. The ball cuts through the center of the pins, leaving the 6-7. Possible to make, needs to get the ball to the right of that six pin. Hang on, ball. Oh. Close, very close, but it's going to be nine out and an early open for Jess Dayrook. Excellent try by Jess, ranked 23rd in the PBA computer rankings. One of only three players, Marshall, to have converted the 7 10 split on TV. Didn't get the job done there. Here's Norm Duke. Almost leaves the solid nine. 
gets them all to fall down. Take a look at the reaction of Norm Duke. He knows this ball's a little high in the pocket. Just barely does get out the nine pin. So Ricky Ward with strikes in frames one and two. Up in the third now, looking for a three back. And take, taking a little extra time, Gary. I'm not sure what it was that might have affected Ricky, but he's certainly taking his time getting ready to make the shot on 15. I believe he did go for a re-rack. He has the opportunity right now to take a 20-pin lead over Norm Duke and uh, an even larger lead over Jeff Sabre. 32 pins with a strike here. And he takes advantage. If he's nervous, I certainly can't tell. Well, I'll tell you what. Ricky Ward on the rampage right now. It's the shootout in Tucson. We'll be back. at the 1998 Tucson Open. Now for the Alka-Seltzer Friday night recap where the position round determined who made today's TV finals. Ricky Ward shot seventh, the seventh 300 game of the tournament, tournament and that certainly held his second place seed. Well, it certainly did, Gary. And here's a man who just doesn't get nervous. When he, when he wants to need, he needs to make a good shot, he just gets up and does it. Great 300 and Norm Duke, he has 10 strikes in a row. He's trying for 300 of, of his own. Comes in a little bit high. It's 289 for Norm, but it certainly helped him to get to the final. Well, some other highlights. Norm Duke won six of eight matches to go from fifth to third. Eric Forkel, like a finely tuned thoroughbred, eight to wire. And that's this week's Alka-Seltzer Friday Night Recap. And we're going to get back to bowling now, the shootout round of the 1998 Tucson Open. We've got three going head to head to head. And right now, Ricky Ward, courtesy of three consecutive strikes in the first three frames, 32-pin lead over Jess Stayrook and 20-pin lead over Norm Duke. And Jess Stayrook up in the fourth on lane 16. And he strikes once again on lane 16. For Jess Stayrook, it's a matter of figuring out lane 15. He's definitely going to have to do that if he wants to get back into this match. And Marshall, Mac Cam replay. Well, here's a great shot, not the Mac Cam, just a good replay of the ball heading into the pocket. And take a look at the reaction of a pro who knows he's made a good shot and was rewarded. Norm Duke, he comes in high again on lane 15, but this time gets the friendly trip of the four pin, and that cuts just that cuts Ricky Ward's lead down to only 10 pins. So Ricky Ward now going for a four-bagger, and as you said, Marshall, Norm Duke now down by just 10. Jess Stayrook at 32 pins down to Ricky Ward. 1991, Rookie of the Year, Ricky Ward. Now this time Ricky Ward leaving the seventh pin. Catch the PBA Tour online, you'll get...